Okay, we're gonna go to the study hall now. We gotta get the Curse Mark of Death. There's two bosses on the way. Then after that, we got Valiant Gargoyles. Oof. Boss in water with mostly fire damage. It's gonna be rough. These two fights should be fine, though. Lights Cav. Oh, yeah, I can parry. Hang on. And I can take this off. Yeah, get down. Mm. Brother, I'm just gonna knock you right off your horse again. Told you. Like, why even bother summoning? Yeah, gamer dents a real problem, man. It makes the brain smaller. Why do you think gamer brains rot? We need to stop the epidemic. You know, I'm kind of surprised that the Tibia Mariner doesn't do sleep just because he's like completely purple. I just associate purple with sleep in this game. Is there anything else that's purple that doesn't do sleep in this game? Wing of Estelle, that's true. The uh, the butterfly thing that was in the trailer might actually, might be doing something with sleep. I can't say for sure, but it looked like Nebula, which is very similar to the Wing of Estelle's Ash of War. That's why I brought it up. It's like a reskinned Wing of Estelle, but it, it looks more like an incantation, honestly. I think it is, because I think the, the user in the clip had a seal in their hand or one of their hands. I just can't wait for, like, kicking. Potential kicking weapon. Or weapons. It's very exciting, though, because, like, that means... Oh, God. Damn it. Ugh. Stupid rafters. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the kicking. Right, so... The kicking opens up, you know, potential for the next game to have kicking as well. Foot weapons. Really, anything we see in the DLC is, like, fair game for the future. Throwing daggers as weapons, the uh, reverse grip swords. Those things looked cool. I ended up, I remember I brought up last, or not last time, it was some time ago, a couple, maybe like a week or two ago. A weapon in Neo, it was like a, I don't remember what it's called, I looked at the name and now I can't remember it, but it was like a chain with a pick on the end. I always thought that would be cool. Yeah, I need to, I need to finish Neo. I played like a little bit of it. Not very much though. But it's pretty cool, though. I enjoyed it for the time I played. I just I don't remember why I stopped playing it. I think I was at the time just playing too many games. And I'm like, yeah, I need to get rid of some uh, something because storage space. And then I just never went back to it because it was like right before Elden Ring, too. That was the other thing. That's when I was trying to get through all the Yakuza games before Elden Ring. I think I played three, four, five, and six in like a very short time, and maybe even Judgment. I can't remember when I played that, but it was around there. Also trying to get Dead God and Isaac, which took quite a while, and 100% Hades. And I, I did all that in like a few months, to like, I don't know, four or five months before Elden Ring. But I think Neo was in there, and it was just a casualty of uh, not having enough time to put into it with everything else. Almost time for Gargs. Oh, baby. Everyone say hi to Ronnie. Where are we going? We're going here. I wish we weren't, though. Why am I not on torrent? What am I doing? <laughs> God. 
You don't need Torrent for that, but like I use I'm so used to having Torrent and jumping there, but you can't make the jump without Torrent. Not the one I was trying to do anyway. So I guess we'll just do this for now. I don't know, maybe the strike damage will help out with this. Probably not though. It's we just do not have a lot of physical damage at all, so. Let me see the other torches actually. What are the splits on this? Oh, this is all holy. This doesn't even do fire damage. I didn't know that. I thought it was like physical fire and holy. It's just physical and holy. Yeah, they're all still at like at least two thirds fire or holy or whatever. Holy damage honestly might be better here than fire because of the water. I don't know if these guys are resistant to holy though. Eh, I can work with that. Obviously not good, but better than I would have expected. I'm guessing these guys are immune to sleep. He just did like a full turn. I think at this point, I'm just going to bother going for whoever's close. Like, I'm not going to worry about, uh, Trying to kill one or the other. Even though that probably would be smarter. I mean, I'll try to get this guy if I can, but if he's not close, I'm just gonna go for the other guy. Uh oh, wrong, wrong flask. Oh, I got hit there anyway. Yeah, I think the strike damage definitely is helping, though, because if this wasn't strike damage, it probably would be much worse. Poison from both of them. Wow. Okay, who's attacking? You? Poison. Hit him, thank you. Come on.
He's screaming. Poison. Almost there. This honestly has not been that bad at all. Even fighting, you know, two of them most of the time. Oh my god. Well, I wish that those hit. There we go. That was almost really bad. I tried to greet it. Ooh. Okay. Freedom! So now we just run for quite a while before the next boss. Nice job with the Giga Chat emote, thanks. It wasn't too bad to make, honestly. I have an idea for another one, too. I think I have like eight animated emote slots I can fill, which is ridiculous because I can't even think of eight things to do. I mean, I've had... What do I have? Three regular emotes? I'll have to, uh... Give it some more thought. It's honestly not that hard to, like, uh... Like, if I have images, I could make emotes out of them. It's like the... the... I guess the ideas and actually drawing, if, if you had to draw something, I guess that'd be the tough part for me. Not very artistic, but I can I can make them move. That I know how to do. A wave or a high emote. Yeah, that would be a good one. I didn't get the doll, did I? Well, I'm going to get the grace first and then I'll come back for the doll. Oh, God. Stop! Why does that attack do so much damage? Take some character to use a wavy mode in a game like DS3 and prop it. Yeah, it's more or less what I was thinking of doing. All right, let me. I gotta go to deep root real quick because I gotta get the. I gotta get back to where. Wait. Oh, wait. Is this where I think it is? This works. Why did I get this grace? I never get this grace. It's so convenient though, honestly. Oh, pick up the thing. I have no idea why I got this grace. There was no need. The name of Iwon. All right, then back here. So Dragonkin, Dragonkin, Estelle, and then Lyurnia, finish Lyurnia. Should be able to do that, I think. And well, maybe not finish Lyurnia, but I think we can get through like the easy part of it. I don't know about the Moonlight Altar. All that in like half an hour. We'll see. And then we will hop into some Like a Dragon Gaiden. Maybe we'll get to story today. Who knows? The problem with going to story in that game right now is I'm at a point where, like, if I go do story, then stuff becomes unavailable for a bit. And I don't know if I want that to be a thing. You won't? Yeah, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> it's not supposed to be a long game, and I have, like, 20 hours in it already. You can 100% it in, like, 30. But I think I just play slowly. Spend so much time tweaking cars and pocket circuit racing. If you look up Syrix's guide, it probably would be the shortest. Oh, I'm sure, but I want to do it like on my own. That's the fun with pocket circuit racing is like tweaking stuff for me anyway. Oh, come on. Ah, stop. Do you think the Lake of Rot counts as water? Something I never thought about until right now. Nope. 
Na! Since when do I like optimizing builds in games? Because in pocket circuit racing, you kind of need to to win. Like, I can win without optimizing builds in this game. Pocket circuit racing doesn't work like that. This is taking quite a bit. There we go. He's crazy. This is probably the longest Dragonkin soldier fight I've had in quite a bit. Since maybe the hand blister, if I had to guess. Because every fight in that run was long. There we go. We get to do it again! Except the one in the Lake Rod is a little different. Gotta do the Baleful Shadow as well. Forgot about that. I always forget about that fight. Because that'll take time with this. More than normal. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm hoping we can get through Lyernia, but we'll see. So we have two bosses here. We have another eight in Lyernia, so that's 10, 12. So I think we're at 117. That boss took the longest on your first playthrough, really? Did you fight him super early? He's really annoying to fight if you try and fight him from right underneath him, because you can't hit him with a lot of stuff or maybe almost anything. Level 30. Yeah, you have to be on his side to hit him, or hit his hands or something. You just can't hit his midsection at all, unless you're using magic, or maybe like you have a, a very long weapon. It can be very frustrating. You know who I did? I'm not sure I killed on my first playthrough, or even at all in that first uh, save file I have. I don't know if I did this Dragonkin soldier coming up. I have no idea. Oh, Shadow. Thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the Witch cometh. Bring thy flesh Ow. with a fateful wound, ne'er to heal. Yeah. She's too good for the V. Does it even make sense to parry? Like, honestly. I'm dead. I just, I didn't think that would actually reach me. Alright, I'm not gonna parry this guy. It's brutal because, like, if you if you fail a parry, you get hit and you get destined death on you. Or whatever that effect is. It's really annoying. And it also takes two hits to actually get a parry. Or a stagger, posture break, whatever. Hey, you roar. Ah, oh, I had him asleep. You woke up. Hang on, I'll look at it in a second. He's crazy. Okay. My thanks. This, this is, is farewell. Thank Give key, thank you. 
All right. Uh, can't level up. Just gonna keep moving. Going to the Dragonkin Soldier number three. Well, two here, but it's the third one I plot. Look at him just sitting there. All stupid. Hmm, do I want to... I probably should just die here, huh? Because I could use a bolus, but I'd rather have all my healing. So we'll wait it out. 25 minutes to do all of Lyrnia plus this boss and Estelle. Yeah, it's not happening. I can tell you that right now. Why, like, if I stand still on the platform, why are the runes always in the Lake of Rod? Don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Where's the Lake of Sleep? That's what we need. <laughs> Can you imagine how annoying that would be? Like you're going through the lake and like every like 10 seconds you fall asleep. You just can't move. Okay, now he's gonna probably run away. Usually if he gets low, he'll, he'll do that attack. He'll just like scream and then run away and then come back. It's not doing it here though. I think he's doing it now. There's his roar and then he just will do a little bit of that. Ow. Comes back. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, I probably could have just used a bolus. Whatever, it's fine. Didn't need to actually die at the stake, but that's okay. Estelle probably cannot be slept. I'd be shocked. I think most of the main bosses probably cannot be put to sleep, at least like fully. Some can be, um, you know, they'll be, they'll close their eyes or whatever, but not full on sleep. And then there's a lot that are just immune. This one I think is going to be immune. So yeah, we still gotta go get the ring, so we'll do Red Wolf after this. Red Wolf for Nala, and then there's like four four other bosses in the lower part of the Yurnia we gotta do. And then after that, it's just the Moonlight Altar. But I don't think we're gonna get to the Moonlight Altar today. I hate that double hit attack. I don't know how to dodge that. Up. Yeah, I was late on that roll. I think I figured out how to dodge that. Kind of, anyway. Not completely. The uh, the one where he does the three rings instead of like four. You just have to look at which way he's going with his hand and go the other way, basically.
Yeah, that was a bad idea. Oh, he's doing a grab. I thought he was going to be doing the asteroids. I guess we're not quite there yet, though. For some reason, this Estelle does not have the, the Phase 2 part of the theme that the Stars of Darkness one does have. I don't know why. That was maybe a bit greedy. That was almost really bad. And now we get asteroids. Meteorites. Whatever they are. I don't know how to dodge that one, man. Let me go to the other direction. Yeah, this one. You just have to you have to look at which way he's going and just go the opposite way. It took me forever to figure that out. Asteroid number two, that's how you know this fight takes a long time, is if you have to see this attack more than once. And we might honestly see it three times. This is a good attack, though. Very punishable. No stagger at all. Kind of bummed by that. Oh, speak of the devil. So where is the grace going to be? That's the question. Is it that way or is it over here? It's over here. Perfect. Still not nearly as long as on release with Elden Beast with no magic. What, this fight you mean? Dex or strength? 520. Two for 520. Two for 520. Probably dex because strength is being... That's better from two-handing. All right, we're going to raid Lucaria. Is Elden Beast on release much different than it is now? I don't actually know. 15 to 18 minutes to get him to 25%? What weapon were you using? I had a really bad weapon for that fight. For Elden Beast. And Radagon. Radagon took me longer than Elden Beast did. Radagon just... I could not get down. I think it took me like 5 hours to get through the final boss. Are we getting on Stone Sword Keys? Okay, we are. Good. Oh, he's sleepy. Gets great sword. Really? That's surprising then. But yeah, that's true. He, he did uh, did like to run away. I don't know if he still like runs away at the same degree or not. But that's like one of my biggest gripes with Elden Beast is he just doesn't stop moving. And then we'll just spam random attacks from far away. Boon Grum. Get out of here. I'm running. Please don't don't do a frame perfect hit. Please. Just let me in. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure they nerfed his HP by 33%. Really? That's pretty wild. I didn't know that. I 
This is probably going to be two cycles. Yeah, that's okay. Two is uh, not bad, honestly, for this. One. And here, number two. Remember struggling way more in Elden Beast than Melania? For me, the hardest bosses on my first playthrough were Melania, Radagon, and Elden Beast. Actually, I think I, I had more time in Radon than I had on Radagon and Elden Beast, but those were the top three. Yeah, like that took me like three hours, but the rest were like five or more. Why do we not have a talisman for running attacks? You ever think about that? You got a talisman for jump attacks. You got a talisman for charge hard twos. Running attacks get no love though. Oh, you don't, you done goofed right now. That's what I wanted you to do. wanted to summon the dragon. It's like the easiest summon to handle, honestly. Because you kind of can just sit under it. Everything else is just annoying. So close to the camera, you can't even... I was like going... I was clipping through the, the cloth. Grab this. Then what's next? Bellberry Hunter, the last Bellberry Hunter, your tree avatar, and then Black Knife Catacombs. With the Black Knife Assassin in a very tiny room. Look at this idiot. He doesn't know about iframes. Oh, lag. I wonder if there's an option to say something else there. Like, I don't know what it would be, but, uh, I don't know, maybe there's, like, something you could learn. You could learn about how whatever came to be or something. Instead of saying, I don't know, you could say you do know. Does a Twin Blade Talisman proc on a running attack? It's considered a final chain, final hit of a chain? It's a good question. I actually have no idea. In a fame when he glimpsed under such... Can't level, can I? Oh, I can. Beautiful. That does nothing. Also does nothing. All right, whatever. Billberry Hunter. Ah, damn it. I just took a gamble he wasn't going to do that. No, nope, that's not. Can't parry that. Can't parry that. Meal. Oops. Maybe you can parry that, but I don't trust it because it's red. I feel like you probably can't. Take me back to the good old days where you could parry everything like in DS1. I mean, you probably can't parry everything. Maybe like all melee attacks, but like with a weapon, I mean. But you ain't parrying four kings. What about Artorius, actually? Can you parry Artorius? That's something I don't do a lot other than Gwyn in uh, Dark Souls 1. Parry Gwyn and that's about it. Come on. 
Yeah, so uh, this should do more damage to this guy because fire damage. Hopefully. It just doesn't look like it does fire damage. Like, it like, doesn't actually look at it if you look because you don't see, like, you know, the fire you would see if you do a fire damage attack. Like, if you attack with a weapon that it does, or that has, like, flame art or fire, you can see fire. But you can't see it with this weapon. It's like invisible flames. But it's definitely dealing a lot of damage here, so I am going to say that it does indeed deal fire damage. You can feel the fire damage versus him? Oh yeah, for sure. Giving demon fire sage memories and stray demon and a little bit of asylum demon, but mostly stray demon and demon fire sage. Actually, you know what? It's kind of all of them, huh? Weak to fire is on fire. Wait, demon fire sage is weak to fire? That is strange. Oh, that was close. Something that has bothered me is Bloodhound's Fang, you're able to put grease on it, but other somber weapons you can't. Yeah, there's there's a couple somber weapons I think you can do that with. Bari's Bouquet is another one, but like, who uses that? Bloodhound's Fang is just so good, it doesn't really need it. And I don't know why they allowed that one to have... Uh, to be able to be buffed, but not some of the other ones. It's very strange. Okay. I, mean, I guess we're in a loop now. This is a this is a new one. Maybe it's just RNG. Missed that one. What an AOE. The skeleton, yeah, that skeleton's super annoying. It can throw fire bombs. Yeah, you just saw it right there. Luckily it missed, but it gets half its body through the thing and it can throw firebombs at you. Let bro in? No. He's trying to kill me. All right, the shade is going to be annoying. The cemetery shade here has got four skeletons around him and I am one man. So we'll see how this goes. One man with a torch and a shield. You can parry the shade. It's kind of tricky, though, because he's very fast. Also, probably trickier when there's four skeletons shooting you and trying to stab you with their sword. Ah! I don't really want to fight the skeletons. Like, that's not something I want to do at all, to be honest. And he's got such little health that, like, it's not worth it. He just sometimes isn't interested in fighting you, and you can just walk up to him and hit him. It's very strange. It's a very weird fight. So Limgrave is done. Lyurnia will be done after these two bosses. caleb has got one more boss. Altus has Rakehard and the Sewers. And Langdell. Everything else should be done, though. So we're through, like, 120-something bosses. 125? These champs will be in a bit. Not today, though. But that fight probably will suck. I mean, it usually sucks. It's going to be worse with a torch in water. 